it's not over yet though. <laughs> Just to go into the scriptures, the, the time period of the Dark Ages is a time period in the scriptures itself, man. Um, during the time of Revelation. Um, so, Revelations 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Right? The bottomless pit being basically um, Europe and the so called white man's. Um, condition of being low, base, being a peasant, alright, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, alright, so that's basically going into the period of time between, um, what was it, um, my man Septimius, what was that, uh, 325 AD, roughly, going through for a thousand years, going through to the 13th, 1400s, which is when the so-called white man, is the old serpent, the, the dragon, the devil, and also Satan, okay, when he was released from his prison, underneath the, the, the Israelites, man. and that's when they started taking Jake down, and taking down the strongholds, like, when they started, started to take Britain down, began with the, the, the British arm, um, Civil War, man, when you had the parliamentarians, which were really a bunch of Edomites, middle class Edomites, trying to take down the, the, the true British aristocracy and royalty and priesthood, which were really the Jakes, man, the Israelites, man. Um, it says, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, right, and set a seal upon him, all right. So basically, went for that thousand years, no matter what Esau did, he could have come from under the yoke of the Israelites, man. They were they were nobody on the earth during that time period, man. The only little resemblance of a kingdom they had was over there in the, the, the Caucasus Mountains with the Khazarians and that kingdom, no one was dealing with it, man. The the, the, the the Islamic, the Arabs weren't dealing with them. Jake weren't dealing with them. The damn Chinese, no one weren't dealing with the Khazarians, man. They were just nobodies on the earth, man. Little, little cave dwellers, man. Not like now where they say something and the whole world has to listen. It says, um, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. We're basically in that time period, you know, from around 14, basically 14, 1500s on to now. Is that little season, little time period where the devil, the so-called white man, the, the biblical Edomites, which is the, their true, true, you know, biblical nationality, were going to be loosed upon the earth to do what? Rape, rob, it, rob, pillage, steal, destroy. Take down strongholds. Take down strongholds, man. Well, that's right, man. Um, the, the brother mentioned the dates of, um, of, 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 of coming into power and stuff like that. And basically throughout Europe they had Esau was taking over different lands at different times. Time you had the French Revolution, you had the French Revolution, 
then you had them when it was taken over Russia, they still went for the Tsar Nicholas after the Bolshevik, when the whole Jewish Bolshevik revolution, and took his gold, and then there was a famine after that, a couple of years after that, in where the, the, a million, a, a population of Russia got, and millions of them got star, uh, starved to death, which there could have been Jake's down there, man. Yeah. But, um, but in England, basically, they were starting with the parliamentarians and all that. One of the main catalysts of all this was Oliver Cromwell. And basically, they, these guys resurrected a statue of this guy outside of the par parliament. parliament and do you know why they're doing that? Because they're renovating this guy, man. They're exalting him. Because he had a part in taking it, he had a part in destroying like if I could add this, all them old um, noble lines going back during that time period were all Jake, man. Every single last one of them were Jake. And they had to basically take down those noble lines one by one. And the way they took down the British noble line was basically piece by piece. First they undermined their power over the people by bringing in the parliament. And then eventually they basically took out the whole royal seed line by basically marrying that German Edomite because they already took down the German royal family into the into the, the real British line and then that's how you get the House of Windsor or the House of Sachs Colburn Gopher. So really, on the throne of England, a Jake was on the throne of England even up to the 1900s. So Br Britain was one of the last places that they actually fully took down. But obviously for that whole time period, the royal family weren't really ruling Britain. The bankers were really ruling Britain. Because the, the royal family was in debt to the bankers, man. Um, even even um, uh, Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I, she she wanted to um, she wanted to deal with these gold coins, man. These, these certain um, type of coins, because that's because the bankers were, were, were all up in it from that that period of time. Because like the brothers said, a lot of them after that, them kings and all that was puppets. Man. Parliamentarians, like before that, the um, Jakes were had a, mon mon a monarchy system and, and a right, right, right for uh, rules, ru right, right to rule in kings for a line of kings, man. Like, you had like, um, you had the um, divine right of kings, divine, divine, right, of divine kings. right of kings, because uh, that's what the all did. He, you know, this, 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 this thing, right, all of castle was inhabited by King John, and and he he was going out with Queen Matilda, and one of the um. I think it was after him, one of the lines came from a guy from France. William. Was, was so about William. William the Conqueror. Um, he was from France. Well, that, the I think whole was, line yeah, after the whole line was after him. Oh, yeah. okay. For a damn long while, it was French. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think um, Queen Matilda's father. Yeah, so there's people with a lot of. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, could we could check this stuff. I think Queen Matilda, Matilda's father but was the king of France that moved to Jerusalem, but I think it was Gregory. It was Gregory the. The fifth that I think got with Queen Matilda, and then that's that he was um, he, his dad was from France. His dad became king of Jerusalem, and Gregory the fifth came on the throne. And when you look at the icon of Gregory, he's having the fourth and the fifth. You can see the Jake. He's the icon where you can see that he's got his face all dark, and they've kind of tried to lighten around the face, and, and it's just ironic how his dad went to Jerusalem to be king over there to have some kind of power over there because Jake. It was all Jake's ruling, man, and when the Crusades happened, the war come together. And then, and then what, what the Jakes do? Fight each other, man. That's right. You know. And uh, can I add this as well about the royal lions? That's why they all carried the sign of the um. They carried the sign of the lion, which represents Judah, because they all knew that their lineage went back to basically Judah. That's why they said they had the divine right to rule, because the the, the royal lion is Judah, man. The thrones of David. And then they also carried the unicorn, which even to this day, the British symbols contain the, the lion and the unicorn, because the unicorn goes back to Israel, because Israel was likened unto a unicorn for our strength. All right? So, hey man, that's, that's that history, which did, we won't get into this castle, this particular castle here. This, this castle goes way back in all that history, man. We're going to go into them, to the history of it. And show you that Jake were being wicked, right? Through that, because don't get it twisted, man. The dark, we like to talk about the dark ages, but don't think that Jake were being righteous during the dark ages, man. Like the brother just said, Jake were fighting each other. There were certain times when 
man were cordial with each other. Together, and then, then there'll be certain times, because the French, you got to understand that all the different Jacob, all these different countries, they were all family. So they're all connected. But then you always had a nigger that would get into power and basically it's try to nigger. seize power from his brother and try to oppress his brother. That's the same thing that was happening in Britain, man. Yeah. Between the English, the, the Welsh, and the Scottish, man. They were all the same yeah. Israelites, man. But they hated each other. And guess what? For you dumb niggers, oh, you talk about slavery. Yes, niggers used to put niggers in slavery, man. That happened, man. The, the Irish used to come over to Wales and kidnap Welsh men and put them in slavery over there in Wales and vice versa, man. So, it, why do you think Jake had to go down, man? Because Jake could be wicked, man. You got, you got yeah. all that information there and any scriptures on Jake wicked? No, I was just going to yeah, add it. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Anyway. I was going to say, I do retaliate the curses, man. Okay? Because this is why, this is why the, all that was going on, because he wasn't obeying the laws of the Most High, man. Okay? It's Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But if, if, if it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And I'm going to jump down to verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand un, unto for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because, because of the wickedness of thy doings. Whereby thou hast forsaken me. Yeah, he's going to jump down to his... Um, yeah, on the camera. Yeah, yeah. Because basically, you know, it's, 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 they, when, when, when Jake's ruled, the scholars call that period of time, and even if they call it, um, the, 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 um, what did they call it? The, 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 um, you, had the, you had the Byzantine Empire, and then you had, um, oh man. Oh, well, that whole, no, 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 there wasn't the Holy... The Holy Roman. Not, but yeah. after that, you had, like, the call the... Um, well, in, well, basically, when they made that movie, The Kingdom of Heaven, there, oh, there, there was another name for the for the for the rulership period. But 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 I'll just reference it basically after the movie. Then the court, even that movie, they called it The Kingdom of Heaven because because it, because that that system it was Israelites ruling, and basically they the reason why we, we, it wasn't it wasn't established forever is because we was going up and it wasn't it wasn't prophesied for us to rule it. And that weren't the kingdom of heaven. That wasn't yeah, well, exactly. But it was Israelites ruling. But you know, wicked wickedness which goes back to these curses. You know, that's my point. Verse 21, the Lord shall make the pestilence creep unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. Okay, we mentioned on the, on the way here about the, the, um, black, the black plague, man. That, that white tire, 50, how, 50 million? Two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds of the population of Europe, man. Okay, so you know, the Lord sent a pestilence to, 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 to weaken Jake, man, so the, the white man can come up out of his, his pit and gain, and gain control of Europe. Okay, and you know, these times we're living in that. Okay? Uh, the Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Uh, the Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Yeah, and that's basically going into how Jake got taken down in West Africa, everywhere. Because Jake was being wicked, so the Lord brought these curses on us, man. We went from kings in the building to fucking niggas in the dungeon. You know? Yeah, and all them curses, man. Because why? We were, we were killing each other, murdering each other. And it's funny, because the same kind of thing happened in... In the time of um, when Jeremiah was prophesying against the kings of Judah and that, and telling them they're gonna go down, mm -hmm. and they were they didn't want to hear it, they didn't want to go down. But it was prophesied that it was that it was meant to fall, man. Just like it says, the brother read it. It says, "The devil shall be loose for a little season," which goes to the Renaissance period of beyond, which is this time period now, where, where he saw set up um, the industrial revolution. Which did away with the with the old way, if you want to put it that way, agriculture and stuff like that. You know, where he's where he's got the, the, the Lord given the technology now, which he's trying to use to enslave everybody. Man. He's trying to use that technology to 
to bring in that new world order and all that. You know, and all these strongholds, these are all these are all ruins now and, 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 and sites of interest and tourist sites because because Esau wasn't ruling these things. He doesn't build structures like this anymore. Well, he, he didn't build it in the start to start with. No. He looks at this as, as, as just like how you got people that go to ancient Egypt, or you got people that go to Babylon and look at the site like all oh, these people that made this. It's the same thing with these guys. They didn't. They didn't make these things. It's all by, by skyscrapers, bro. Exactly. Because because when 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 Oliver Cromwell came into place and all that, they, them them guys went voting in their kings. But that whole thing with voting in Parliament. House of Lords and House of Commons. It's really the House of Commons that yeah, crept in there. That's that 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 system wasn't set in before. They was messing with the Charles 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 and them. That came after voting. Uh, can I add to that as well? And actually, you know, Esau uses that all the time, and he's still using that tactic to this day. When he wants to take down another ruler, what he does is something called a popular revolution. He'll pretend that oh, yeah, he's no, taking no, down no, that ruler. Yeah, no, that's what yeah. yeah. right. yeah. 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 no, you go on. Go on. No, yeah, no. He'll basically, like with the French Revolution and the um, British, all, it was all the same. They were basically, they were already up in the middle class. And what they were doing was you had the upper class. And every society always works like that. The upper class keeps the middle class in its place and the peasants in their place. Esau had made his way into the middle class. And what he decided to do was to get rid of the upper class, which was Jake and the nobles, he got the rabble together and basically said, look, the king and that ain't for the people. We need to get rid of the king and bring in a system of rulership which is for the people. But they really only used that to get rid of Jake and then they put themselves in the place. And now they're ruling. And that's what Esau does. He would get rid of one ruler and tell the people it's for them. But really, that whole industrial revolution and that, that civil war didn't solve nothing for the, the actual average poor man on the street, but it helped the middle class become super rich, though. That's right. Because yeah. even, oh, I was going to say, even the House of Lords, originally, the House of Lords was actually, those, those were the elites that were in power. And that had, ultimately, when Parliament first came in, they were the ones who actually had a say in a... Parliaments went back to the King's Council, Korea Regis, mm -hmm. or the Wing Tegama, which was early, that was er, more early, yeah, that was, uh, earlier Sa centuries, the Saxons, Saxons had, had the Wing Tegama, right in about the 8th century, yeah. like 8th, 8th, 7th, or 6th onwards, I think, yeah, six was. Onwards. and, and then, then like, after the Norman Conquest, then it was that's uh, the Korea Regis, yeah, right, like, that's what, where, where they were normally, because he brought in a feudal system, then he had all the laws that he had ruling over the different duchies, I think they were called, then um, they, he would have them counsel with him on rulership, and then that's what that's what the that's what the House of Lords was about. The king and his nobles discussing the issues of of, of, of their kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's what it was about, and then that's how the House of Commons came in kind of after. Because you know? I think the Commons it was mainly because because of the revolution. I think the, um, well, the, like civil, I think it was civil wars happened, and then they realised okay they need to play safe the Commons. So then the House of Commons was brought in basically just so they could get their views in. No, it was just a way of keeping them um, subdued. But then obviously, then uh, after uh, Oliver Cromwell, he's um, after all that, then the, um, well, the Civil War, I'll say, the main Civil War, Oliver Cromwell, when he got into power, then the Commons had the, the, the ultimate power over the Parliament, basically. And then they, they were. Um, that, that became the main ruling power, rather than the, the, the crown, the crown. The, the throne didn't have as much power, the House of Lords didn't have much power, but then the Commons was like the, the paramount of the power. Or that, and that goes all down to the, that Cromwell was the, the main figure of the mm -hmm. Because what they did is they killed Charles I. Mm -hmm. I think the problem to execute yeah, public he executed him. So was Charles II. Yeah. 
you stay late to, to there, so, you know. And then, you know, cousins. But then when, when Cromwell died, Cromwell's son Richard. Yeah, yeah he, he, he ruled for like a year, I think a year or you two years. Well, well, the first, the French Revolution, the British Civil War. The French, the the French Revolution was like, I think, 17. That was that you know what, uh, if I could add this, that makes sense here, yeah, because with that whole French Revolution, that didn't start with the people. That what happened was outside influences, journalists from Britain actually started sending, putting pamphlets and information through the media to the modern day people, turning them against the Queen who was um Germany at that time. And basically they started made it out that like she was spending up all this amount of money and lavishing herself and then they started printing stuff saying she was a whore and she was sleep basically <laughs> to undermine the, the, the royal, royal family, family and turn the minds of the simple minded people against their their royals then to the end where the right. royals didn't catch on to that too basically it was basically um psycho psych psycho psychological operation which Esau did to turn the people of France against their own royalty and that's how they took Jake out of France man. It's, it's it's the, it? the same it's things he's doing today that kind of warfare back then that that kind of like that's like, it's like, um, fucking, what's it called, like, in Batman, when they said, okay, we just started trying a new tool, economic, and taking down Gotham through economics, because that was a new weapon in war, they, when wars were fought back then, they weren't thinking of using psychological, using the, the small folk to take down royalty, so then they wouldn't have been able to respond to <laughs> that kind of warfare, man. I've got a quick scripture for that, Psalms 55 and, um, 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. So, so they thinking, they're thinking, okay, this is for the greater good. They're thinking, oh, this is going to help us out. We're going to get in a better position. But then that just leads to them being in a worse position. Because now, compared back to them, if you think, compared to modern times, exactly, higher <laughs> taxation. <laughs> you can't even, like, what, all the, they think national minimum wage, all these things make it better. But they're just, like, means you're getting paid um, dirt cheap. You can't really own anything out here. All conditions have got uh, d uh, many degrees worse since way back when, man. Since those revolutions, everything's gone downwards, man. A downward spiral. Even, even um, the food, the living conditions, all that's morality, too. Because if I can add this as well, Trust. one of the reasons Trust. when that whole um, industrial revolution came forth, before that, everyone was just rural, and most people used their land to really support food for just themselves. When the Industrial Revolution and capi capitalism came into being, a piece of land just basically hyperinflated in, in, in um, price. Yeah. Because you could now use that land, produce food, and sell it to the cities, which were being developed. So you had basically men that owned land started making a whole heap of paper money. And that's when the first thing of basically quick renting came in. You would rent the land out to a guy for some ridiculous price. He had to pay. If he couldn't pay, you rented out to someone else. That capitalism, basically, the seek, seeking the most profit possible. Now, when that happened, the, you had the clergy, which they owned a lot of land, and the higher upper class, they weren't making as much money as the new guys coming into the game because they were holding on to the old tradition of they were the kind of guys like, look man, I've been renting this land to you and your fathers and my fathers were renting for five pennies for about 300 years. So they didn't stop doing that. They said, well, we'll keep renting it for three pennies. The new guys, which are basically the Edomites, and I'm going to get the link to whoever the producer is to show you that information. The new guys coming up, which are basically Edomites, they can do that shit. They would put the price at five pounds. They didn't give a fuck if you couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it, get off their land, they got some more good. They could make charge six pounds, they'll charge six pounds. So you had a whole heap of people that ended up living in the streets. So they had to pass laws to put them people in jail, man. Because basically, they turned it into what it is today, the dog eat dog world. Where business has people no form of up. morality, yeah, man. Exactly. It's all about making the most amount of money. Right? No and you're not what? caring about anyone else, man. And that's Esau, man. That's how you know that was Esau. And then Jake went with him to do that as much. So Jake was still spending money like how they used to. And that's how Jake went down too. Because they were living like kings. But because of the capitalism and that, their spending power was being diminished. And they weren't keeping up with the times, man. Because exactly. Esau, the children of this world, are wiser than the, the children of the kingdom, man. When it comes to business and being ruthless, Esau is the top kingpin. Yeah, I've got this 
uh, Joel 30. He says, but now, that they are, but now that they are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in, in whom old age has perished? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former times desolate and waste. Who cut up uh, mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as a, after a thief. Right in in in, in the um, in the in the time of our rulership in the medieval period, you know, these elements were over in the caves. Man. All it was there was there was locked away. We was ruling over the provinces and we, and we looked at them as basemen. That's how we had it. That's how we had it to start with anyway. To start with, I should say, you know. Sort of wormed his way back in after when that goes back to the curses. But this 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 system this, this system today was different to the system that they had in the Middle Ages, man. They had the divine right of kings, and even though they was going off with pagans, they were still following certain books, religious books. Then more everything was more done. Basically, by. they were being wicked. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. But they weren't as wicked as the East man. Right. They were more moral with their yeah. wickedness, man. Exactly. And that's why it was more sustaining as well. Because them Jakes were still oppressing each, oppressing the stranger, which that's in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you how Israel would basically oppress the stranger. That's why the Lord said, oppress not the stranger. That stranger wasn't talking about no other nation. That's, that's talking right. about your own people. Sure. Your own people. Mm -hmm. So when the French invaded Britain, that was Jake oppressing the stranger, man. That's right. But that stranger was an Israelite. That's right. Because mm -hmm. yeah. even I was going to say that... Um the Britain and France, because of the close ties, like the close ties, but the, they had close relations, those intermarried, then that meant that whenever like someone would die without an issue, like if they didn't have a son or a daughter to follow up, then there will be a fucking one hell of a war over that throne. Because you're going to have the guy on the throne in England is going to be like, okay, well I have the right to that because I married into the line further up. And then you're going to have other cousins of all certain duchies in France and England. they are be like, well, I have the right to that. And then yeah. war started off that. Because I Which think the 100 years still. war, that was initially the first one that started, the first skirmish, was over um, one of the, the French kings died. And then the king at the time in England, he was like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I have the right to rule over that. Then he tried to force it through war. And then other, other people, and it just over and over, and every time it happened. And that, would, that would just chips away at Jake's power. Because all they're doing is just destroying Killing each other. Each other man. Man. Which, that's ancient black and black nigga shit. Yeah, man. And nigga moments. Nigga moments, man. And all of it. And, and if you can read some of this stuff that we got yeah, this yeah. castle, man. Because when you actually read the history of this castle, you know that Jake, Jake would be wicked as all hell. Even the nigga yeah, you guys that, the nigga. That, that. Yeah, man. Hey, get, let's get some scriptures on the nigga moment as well. Man. The nigga moment is a demon, too. You guys like to praise the, the daughters of Sarah. Jump up and defend the nigga woman. That's the nigga woman stupid. will kill you, man. Yeah. About getting with a wife. You guys get it with a wife. Woman. When I see what this nigga woman did to her, yeah. to her own um, family, man. Yeah, so it's the old pool. This is the oldest part of the castle. Only the wall of Herringbone masonry is left of the Norman Hall and Buckery. Maybe a bit louder. Make sure the camera. <laughs> yeah. The oldest. This is the oldest part of the castle. Only one wall of Herringbone masonry is left of a Norman Hall and Buckery. A store for food and drink, which stood here 900 years ago. This hall is said to be the scene of political plotting and dastardly deeds. The story goes that the Saxon queen Elfrida, the stepmother of King Edward the Martyr, plotted to depose Edward in the in favour of her own son, Elf Elfred the Unready. During a hunt in the royal forest of Purbeck, Edward decided to pay a visit to Corfe. Legend has it, he was greeted by the wicked stepmother, who offered him wine and stabbed him in the back as he drank. Hey, you know what scripture i got to bring out? That's, that's the nigga. That's why that's we had to go into slavery, man. That's why the nappa-headed nigga woman went into slavery too. Sirach 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. That's right. Men in the um, in the Middle Ages, they had nicknames, man. Yeah. Screws at the Jake, like, <laughs> Alfred, um, Alfred, Alfred, the Alfred. Alfred. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, the guy called Fulk the Black. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the Black, Black Prince. Prince. Exactly. You know, yeah. Black that, Prince. That's testament. They had, they had all kind of names, man. 
<laughs> that yeah, video that you put up, that time. Um, uh, we, we had, yeah, like Snoop Dogg. And then the guy was like, um, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Native yeah. American Indians, they got names like that, that as well, like oh, Red yeah. Cloud. Yeah, yeah, um, Standing Ten Bears and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Well, I was going to say as well, she, even her son was called Alpha Red the Unready. So then it's like, come on, man, if he was called that, that means that even though she was plotting to get him there, he wasn't even ready for that throne, man. Oh, and can I get a cut as well in there on Nate? Now, Alfred the Unready, right? Do you know the Unready is his name as well? Because the word name means reputation. So he had the reputation yep. of being the Unready. Yep. But what was his now. name? His yeah. name was Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> okay? That's, now you're going to know the difference between the title and the reputation and the principal name that someone has. So the Most High, he has many reputations. You had one guy in the Middle Ages, his nickname was Bluetooth. That's a shake of course. Here, it's Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1 A good name is better than precious ointment And the day of, of death than the day of one's birth So the unready man, that's not a good name man It's a boy <laughs> Go on bro, carry on with this history Let's get this no. castle this to you It says um, the keep as well Because it goes into the different that's, parts that's, of Is the this the one that's behind of the keep or was the keep over here? No, I think this was the keep right no, here. No, maybe. This is one of the gatehouses. I think this one is four. What's four? Oh no, the old hall. Okay, that's where we are now. The old hall. No, that's that's the gate just down there. That's the one there. So now we're I think here. Yeah, we're there. So where's so the keep? So it's the old this is the old hall where the flipping where do you see the keep? The keep is the main one. Yeah, so that's the keep. That's the keep there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, go on. Man. So it was built as a home. And tr a treasury and a prison by Henry the First. The keep was also the ceremonial centre and heart of the medieval castle. Completed in the early um, 1100s, it was where the king stayed. He held banquets in the great, great hall on the first floor, surrounded by his court of knights and their ladies. Let's, let's stop with that. The knights. The word knight goes back to the word negrescent, which is basically means dark, right? which is where you get the word negro alright so when you call someone a negro you're basically calling them a knight because it's the same etymology negrescent okay so you get a negro so the knights what were they what were they calling themselves blacks but they were meant to be men of honor so you know it wasn't talking about their nature they didn't call themselves black because of their nature so why were they called black well not every knight wore black armor so it wasn't because of the armor. The reason why they were called negrescent or negroes is because of their skin color, man. Because the knights were all people of color. Because you still had white people in Europe at the time, but they weren't no fucking knights. <laughs> right? The knights were basically the higher ups in the society, yeah. man. They were like just below law. They didn't like, some of them had little, they had small lands. Like they would have just a tower, like land, a bit of land to support themselves. Off. They wouldn't have had like a whole big castle and a big uh, duchy. And they were skilled men of war. Right, and, and they were really, yeah, when it comes to war, a lot of them were men of honor too, mm. to be honest with you. you know, they weren't completely yeah, they demonic. They shame themselves. Well, proof, proof of what we're saying is this, um, I mean, we can pull it up in the post production. Yeah, probably. Probably, probably better to put up in the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just this icon. The editor. Right there, we have <laughs> proof of, of, he shows the knight with his, with his, the Jake Knight. The with the light. With the light. With the, with the, with the, with the light. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's women all there. That's how he knows it, Jake. <laughs> Jake like the bladies, man. She like a thick ass, thick ass lighty too. Thick mm. booty that. <laughs> but the nights nice about men of renown, right? Yeah. Okay, I've got this in Genesis 6, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but suppose there were giants in the earth in those days. Uh, also, after that, when the sons of God came into the sons, uh, to the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men. Which were of old, men of renown. Exactly, men of old. These were yeah. Jakes, man. Like, even even like, like um, the, the round table. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice and the king Arthur and them. Um, 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 th these knights yeah. as well, like some of them, like Queen Elizabeth had a champion knight. A lot of them mm. had champion knights that was like the lead, the, the one champion mm. to the district and they have the best mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. the, you know, like they were the champions, so they had the, bit, the best looking armor and all that. Man. And the boxing, T Tyson was bringing that out. Right, that the right. idea of having the championship belt comes back, goes back to that. And who are the, the champions today? <laughs> yep.